really cool thing going on today. We're headed up to North Florida to go pick up some really freaking cool units. Uh, I've been kind of looking at these things for a while and uh, kind of hit me. I was like, man, I, I need to get one. Like, I just, I need to get one. There was some stuff and I was like, you know what? I should buy one. But then I was like, you know, my friends helped me out with so much stuff that I said, well, if I'm gonna buy one for myself, I'm gonna buy one for one of my best friends here. And, uh, you know, you guys know Cletus, he's helped me with the whole YouTube channel, getting it started. And to start off my YouTube channel full time, I actually, well, I should say full time as far as uh, more full time than before, whatever you wanna call it, um, kicking it back off basically. I, uh, I ran over his little Cushman micro van, flipped my truck in the pond, destroyed his van. He did get paid for it, but thought it'd be kind of cool, man. I found some really cool stuff. I think he'll like, he really likes these things, and they're four by four. So check them out. You guys will see them in a minute, and uh, I think they're really cool, and I really think he's going to like it. Don't forget, guys, head on over to baldeagle.com, grab me some JHT, some merchandise, hat, shirts, and it's all over there. All right, so what I have behind me is what they call a Honda Acti truck. You guys ready for this? Boom. These are mini four-wheel drive, five-speed manuals, 660cc engine pickup trucks that are literally units, right-hand drive. And I thought, you know what? If I'm going to get one, I might as well get my boy Cleet one because... He loves these freaking things. So we got some big plans for it. You guys will see. We're going to do lift kit wheels, tires. We're getting two of them. This one's actually the rougher unit. And the other one's a little cleaner. But, uh, dude, these things are sick. They get great mileage. Pretty awesome. Let's go right back to the shop where we're checking them out and go drive the other one see how they run. Well, we got them loaded up, and we're on our way home. Dude, these things are units, man. I'm excited. I really am. Looks like we might have to put a little bolt in this one here. Not a big deal. But these things drove so good. Honestly, a lot more power than what I thought they had. One of them was a little rougher than the other one. But all in all, it's not rough enough to worry about. Because, I mean, they're really clean. There's no rust. Uh, actually, this one's got a tiny little bit of rust in it. But, dude, like... <laughs> the tires. Where are the tires? They're like a... 145 R12. And this we're going to have to upgrade those for sure. Unit. Back to Braden, then we go, guys. What a goofy feeling. I don't know. I've never driven. This is actually probably the first vehicle I've ever drove with right hand drive. It's just really weird feeling. got some pep in her step over here, huh? Look at this. Hell yeah. What's up, dude? Oh, same old, same old. <laughs> All right, so you guys seen them? Justin actually barely has seen these things, so I'm going to show him what's up. He basically just took a quick look at them. I'm going to pull one around so he can check it out and uh, let him know how awesome these rigs are. Oh, yeah. Woo. Boy, that thing is fancy. Man. I think it's pretty cool. That is definitely a little ripper. There's might be a little something over here. So, what we're gonna do is, Ooh. I got some wheels and tires, we got a lift kit, and we're gonna set these things up, because I don't know if you guys saw his recent video with the Subaru, when we tried to do a little water crossing, didn't do so hot. So let's get this thing off the ground a little bit, that way he doesn't just submerge this thing like he did in Subaru. But yeah, guys, these are steel belted radial tires on some wheels, 23 inch tires, and I think a 12 inch wheel. 14. 14 inch wheel. What a baller status. So we're gonna put a little level cut on this thing and get up in there and or lift it as they call it. And hopefully, hopefully, do the tires on. 
They ain't 20s, but we keep them real clean. Might be the first level kit I've ever done, or lift kit I've had to take the driver's seat out to do it. Yeah, hey. I that. <laughs> so here's the kit, guys. We got our spacers, strut spacers. We got our, I'm not sure yet how all this is gonna go. We will see. I know these are the uh, shackles for the rear to lift the rear. You got your fresh hardware and bolts, and uh, you know all that stuff there. So we gotta pop the driver's seat out because literally the struts are sitting. This is where the struts sit. Driver's seat is bolted in. This one folds right up. So we're gonna unbolt these, and then we should be able to see the strut and get that thing moved out of our way. Well, well, well. Our front is done. Look at the stance. Look at this. What's that? Big screwdriver or a yep. Look at the front. The stance is sick. Working on the rear now. Literally took us all of probably 20 minutes to do, 30 minutes at the most. And now we gotta put our rear shackles on. So rear is pretty simple. Four bolts. We put these shackles in there, drops the springs down, and now you have your lift in the rear. Well <laughs> freaking love it. So the rear shocks are not quite long enough, so we're gonna have to put some longer shocks on the rear or um, just uh, put some extensions or something on them. So right now she ain't got no rear shocks, but look at the stance, dude, it looks sick. <laughs> That's awesome. This thing's like six foot tall now. Dude, this is night and day difference. <laughs> They're 23 inch tall tires too. They're nothing. Golf cart tires. They are steel belted radials though, so they are good for the road. Well, we are here on another day messing with this. So after that last little clip, we realized we had major problems. And the kit that we purchased, genius me, I didn't purchase the best kit in the world. I thought it was, I looked around. This is what everybody was talking about. Cool, and then come to find out it was wrong. A lot of issues, the tires don't fit, whatever. So another gentleman that's very big in these trucks, I reached out to him, I found him on a forum and he said, yeah, man, he says, no problem, I'll get you taken care of. Uh, you have the wrong stuff in there. You have to run this certain setup. I said, cool. So that's what I have today. Today, we're gonna pull it back apart in the front hopefully fix that. And we got some new rear shocks for the rear because the other ones weren't long enough. And hopefully this truck is perfect and we don't have to worry about anything on it. So that's our next step. We have to have to take it back apart and let's hope that it's good, I guess. So, ah, gotta love it. My fault, I didn't do a ton of research, but I thought I did enough. And I like to go with places that's like legit with the website and stuff, but for these trucks, it's very few and far between. Um, but the gentleman I spoke with, He's very knowledgeable. A lot of people use him and they say he is the man. So we have the truck back up on jack stands. Well, about to be, but it is up in the air. And we are going to be redoing some of our work and making it correct. All right, so we got our old spring out. Line that old girl up with the new one. See how she looks. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> see what happens hopefully these guys <laughs> hopefully these guys know what they're talking about here but i got i'm assuming it's a lot more yeah this one probably squishes down a lot more obviously. yeah we'll see it's a lot better yeah it's i mean it's are we gonna do a little bit of trimming but for the most part it's yeah. not, not too bad the back tires came like six inches off the ground <laughs> no shocks back there no it's just it's like this yeah. right now. Well, I guess I'll pull it in and we'll finish it up, I guess. For sure. Before you tear it up. Well, we got the lift all done. We're going to try this again. We got our trimming done. We did a little bit of trimming on the bottom of the door. The rear's done. We got the shocks. Pulled the back mud flaps off the front. Rear shocks are on. The new bushings are in. Oh man, she is ready to go now. Both the rigs are done and ready to go. Ran out of light last night, got pretty dark, but did finish both of them up. And uh, both of them are ready to go. And they freaking came out good, man. 
steel belted radial tires. We have some 14 inch rims. Um, this one is going to be going to my good buddy Cletus. He doesn't have, have any clue yet. I'm waiting on him to get home. I'm going to swing over there with it. I'm basically gonna be like, hey man, check this thing out. Look what I bought because he loves these little mini trucks and minivans and all that stuff. So, like, hey man, check out what I got. And then I'm going to have Justin roll down the driveway in this one. So, I think he's going to be pretty fired up. It's over here, dude. I think you're going to really love it. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Dude. Makes my Subaru, dude. This thing's sick, isn't it? This thing will crush your Subaru. Dude, that is a that thing is sick. <laughs> Bro, these are hard to get. I know. Those wheels and tires? Oh my god. She's a rig, dude. It's a Honda? It's a Honda, dude. This is literally the exact same. It's a Honda. Dude, this is identical to the Subaru. It's a unit. It's a little tight though, I think, in your van, isn't it? Hang on, before you go destroy it, hang on, don't don't destroy it yet. Hang on, we're still I gotta show you some stuff. What do you gotta show me? Don't don't take it, don't take it. Don't take it, seriously. What is there to show stop, me? stop, stop. Stop. I know, it's a unit. It's a I unit. want you to do a quick, quick lap, lap because I got you your very own, oh. bud. <laughs> you can do a lap of yours. So we're gonna race. <laughs> Damn, boy, they are matching. Dude, I just wanted to, you know, like, with all the merch you've been helping me with and the YouTube channel, oh, I was like, my boy loves these things. Thanks, so, <laughs> anytime, my dude. God. Anytime. Wow. So, you got your Thank very you own, to, you got your very oh, own to do yeah. a lap in. You don't need to do a lap in mine. Oh, my. <laughs> do I get to choose which one I get? I mean, you're getting that one. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Whoa, oh, 131 to 131,000 kilometers, 71,000 kilometers. <laughs> Why don't I get this one, dude? Well, you know, just how the deal worked out. So, can we have dude? This is amazing. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. you no problem. Thank you. I mean, yeah, you want to go finish your dinner and then we'll race? My dinner will be there. Two <laughs> laps right now. Where are we racing? Hold on, let me do a lap, make sure I get a feel for it. Justin, we got we got to kind of adjust these things a little bit. The suspension's not. I still got to take it back and do some adjustments, but I just couldn't keep it from you any longer. Dude, this is great. Ooh, clutch pedal is soft. Oh, it's right there too. Gonna flip it. <laughs> I did feel kind of bad about running his van over that one time, a little minivan. Yeah. So you did destroy that one. <laughs> Let's see what he wants to do. The tires are probably still going to rub because we're not done cutting it out yet. This is so much faster than my bean. Is it really? This is what my Subaru. Oh, I keep getting in this side. Wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> are they all time four wheel drive? They're all time, yeah. What? I'm pretty sure I can jump this ring right now. I can tell you all the suspensions held together with 12 millimeter bolts. I don't know about jumping.
feeling though? Feels pretty good? Really I mean, nice. this is, I thought my Subaru was sweet. It's not. This is way Dude, this cool. This is a Honda. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Anytime, dude. Probably the nicest thing anyone's ever gotten for me in my whole life. Oh, it's nice to see that. I yeah. feel honored. This thing looks pretty sick, dude. I was like, if I get one, he's got to have one. So That was a very honorable neighbor move of you, too. Yeah, I said, if I have one, you know, it's not really fair. I already got it dirty. She just goes so hard. A bunch of weeds caught up. Dude, it really didn't do too bad. Like, we were catching air and stuff, and they were, they were doing pretty good. Were you worried about it? Not at all. It's a Honda. Garrett's definitely gonna have to snorkel that thing. Now. 100% gotta get a snorkel. I'm pretty sure snorkel. I can skim the whole pond. In <laughs> I can't stay out of the water. Right well, <laughs> are those golf cart wheels? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, the tires, though, are steel belted radials. They're good for 72 mile an hour. So they're good. I'm going 73. <laughs> wow. Thanks, bud. No problem, dude. Appreciate you, pal. Appreciate Anytime, you. man. Well, what do we do now? I mean, you got a title know. for me? Yeah, I do. To the house. Okay. Kind of. It's all in Japanese. <laughs> just so everyone knows, I gave Jage his first ever Crown Vic. And now he gave me my hey. first ever Honda truck. Yep. Very neat um, Honda truck. Subaru. Incredible. The, the Cushman's obviously, those things. Dude, now I got no something to take my stuff. trash cans down to the yeah. end. Maybe I'll get the trash out this week. <laughs> it's been a while. I it piled up back there. The neighborhood's actually talking about it. I, I should probably go eat my dinner. I keep bringing them in, so. I gotta eat my dinner, dude. Well, we got the rigs back home, and let me tell you what, they're better than I expected. We got a little bit of work left to do on them. Uh, we did tell them. The thing is about my neighbor here, Cletus, he literally will just not stop. Like, it's like, I got, I can't, it's hard to keep a secret from this guy. I've had these things for a few weeks, and I'm just waiting for him to stop by one day and see them. So as soon as we got them drivable and they were lifted, I wanted to get them over to him so he could check them out. And so now he knows what he's got. And uh, he was super fired up about it. We raced him, ripped him. He loves it. He's in love. We even cleaned his off, took it to the car wash. So he got it dirty again. He's, he got it dirty again because he drove <laughs> to the pond again. But either way, though, so we're pretty fired up. He's real fired up. So super happy about that. I'm glad that uh, he's done a lot for me. So I'm just glad I can give back just a little bit for what he's done for me as being one of my friends. So either way, me and Justin, we've been busting ass on these things. And we got a lot of stuff to do now. We got a lot more work to do on some other stuff, which we're going to get on next episode. And uh, we got some cool events coming up too. So again, guys, thank you again for watching the JT channel. We'll see you next time.